It's okay, she's fine. <laughs> the law and this place is like all the other places I know excuse me first of all I just found out you are an officer of the law and you just went on about God knows what where am I wait Melanie please tell me uh, Melanie it's funny how quickly you mention her she's the reason you're here she's dead you see and you've got a lot of explaining to do. She died? Don't act so surprised. You perfectly well know that implications like these lead to those sort of outcomes. You need to tell me what happened. She wasn't meant to. Trust me on this one. You are not getting away as easily as you think. Here, have this. You know you need it. Yesterday, you were called by a doctor in order to give a deliverance to one of his patients, someone who suffers from schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. You see, leading a woman to believing that she is somewhat haunted by something is wrong, don't you think? A traditional candidate for a false diagnosis of demonic infestation, you slimy fuck. How do you know that? <laughs> I know a lot of things. Hmm. Who'd she say that? Mark Francis. Yes. Secretly saying to him, shake violently as soon as I touch you and then making him growl like a Rottweiler just before that? That's a going a teeny weeny bit too far, don't you think? Hmm. You made him take conversion therapy at the age of 17 years old, making him feel fear and guilt about his sexuality. You restrained him with three men whom all believed that his sexuality was the result of demon possession. Mm. You held him down and pinned his head to the floor with a giant lectern, just so this specific being could not refuse the word of God. These aren't the only examples I know. There's been plenty more, hasn't there? Countless false exorcisms, false practices, religious fakery, using ancient and obscure rites. And why? For money? You've never even felt or seen an apparition. And the icing on the cake is using his name and taking the piss out of him. Something you have been doing for years. Son, let me tell you something. I am fully denying everything you have said. And who the hell are you referring to as him? Son? You lied and you cheated in the name of faith. You rebelled and you took the piss against me. You made your own law and became your own God and you took advantage of morality. Me, no matter what I've done and whichever way, I'm fair. 
I always play fair. And I take what's mine. 